<laughs> You're listening to Mark Lamar with Mark Steele sitting in for Tarby Ross, who's away. He's uh, Paul Ross's brother. Um, he's away till. He's back next week, in fact. Oh, and you, Paul Ross? Uh, no, Paul Ross is the, the, the younger brother. I it doesn't thought, really matter. Sa- but who normally does this show? He's the spin off. I He's thought it was Charlie Ross. Chester. <laughs> I've been listening all this time. I thought it was Charlie Chester. <laughs> Do you remember? He used to sell wardrobes for old people to make money so they could Great afford a proper funeral. Well. Do you remember? <laughs> Charlie Chester. I was just about to say exactly he that. Sound, he used to sell wardrobes for old people Chester. to make money. <laughs> oh, cool. That's <laughs> oh, Steve, Steve, you're on the radio. That's like a thing that you would plan, but he didn't. No. It's like we said. improviser. It's like we said. <laughs> We'd ask the audience for a household object. They say a mobile phone. Now, can you say hello to the listeners in the style of a, this time of a morning. mobile phone? That's, that's, funny, that's someone phoning you saying, "Don't slag off Charlie Chester and his wardrobe selling." <laughs> your host. Immediately. Da, 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 host. Do you know? A, any second, I'm going to find out some more inter, uh, so, some more details about the. Any second, I'm going to find out what that sentence was. <laughs> <But> yes, <laughs> I am. I can't finish this one off. This is why I'm no good to your. Can sort we get of a thing. professional DJ? The, the, uh, Charlie Chester. He was the, good. The, I've got his wardrobe. I got shift. The improvisers are touring. I haven't got any dates. All I've got in front of me. Yeah. is a piece of paper saying that you wrote the theme tune to uh, In Sickness and In Health, and I don't think that's your notes. <laughs> so I can't find... I don't know if I've got any tour dates. Yes, I have the tour dates. OK, well, it doesn't, but we'll get on Mr. to that. Uh, we'll get on to oh, that. Yeah. Mr Professional with his phone With his on, mobile his phone that goes chest. off. Yes, yes. Always contactable, always. <laughs> Stereo, right-hand side. <laughs> Professional, you see, Mark? <laughs> You see? Uh, anyway, as, as, get out as I was about to say, as I was about to say, Trevor McDonald, as I was about to say, there's a war in. As oh, I was hang about on. to say, just the <laughs> phrase, as I was about to say, not imply. Can I carry on? Can I ring you back, love? Yes, <laughs> I've got the sausages. As, yeah. to the, the, uh, was that deaf ears? As I was about to say, <laughs> I no, couldn't that's have, yeah. deaf jam. <laughs> no, that was that. You would have been booed off for that, <laughs> and would, rightly so. I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> <laughs> Professional amateur, you see? As you see, I was about to say. <laughs> oh, when you were about to say. Stephen I Frost. Piece of paper. Stephen, say it. I can't, can I? <laughs> Stephen Frost and Andy Smart are here. That's all I was oh, going to oh, say. Oh, oh, well, we'd be better go then. Yeah. Yeah. It's so yeah. interesting. Cheers, yeah. mate. Thanks, Stephen right. Frost oh, and Andy Smart uh, from the improvisers who yeah. are touring nationally. They're, they're, you, you'll know them from. Um, well, the Chaz and Dave. From the last well. few minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Very much the Chaz and Dave, yeah. 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 Without the mad Mick, unfortunately. Well, yeah. Listen to this. The backbone. Rabbit, 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 hamster, <laughs> gerbil, gerbil, tortoise, weasel. See if you can do the rabbit, rabbit together. <laughs> rabbit, 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 rabbit. You know what? Sometimes it's, it's easy. Very difficult, Sometimes it's easy to just say no. Yeah. <laughs> Earlier on in the show, I was saying, you know, the ultimate worst thing. Obviously, everyone knows what, what improvisation is because of, of the no, show. Or do that you're on. Which is why we're here. That was my roundabout way of explaining it. <laughs> I'm so Professional sorry, amateur. <laughs> um, I was saying. One phone call. I was saying. Oh, I've had it. I've had that. Uh, <laughs> I know that wasn't someone who's taken who wants to be a millionaire at the moment and you, and you can't tell them. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that Would be you awful? choose to end in 30 seconds? <laughs> no. no, who was King Henry VIII's third wife? <laughs> Stay hot, I'll tell you what, I've got Stop doing the puns. Stop doing the puns. Never mind that. Never mind Henry VIII. Have you heard the one about the but food penguin? You, you weren't talking any louder, but you did distort then. That was a very bizarre <laughs> thing. Uh, early on in the show, I said like, that the absolute yes. worst thing to do would yes. be when the fellas come in to do household job at style and yes, all that sort yes. of thing. Yes, I heard that. I was in bed. Yeah. When I heard that, that's why I got out and realised I should have been here. Quite a nice wake up. Um, So nice what? Wake up. That's what I thought you said. Um, (laughs) (laughs) I've got him. I've got him. He'll be in tears next. (laughs) He's gone. He's gone. And wouldn't you feel good? Yes, I would. You You would, wouldn't you? Phone up Charlie Chester. Get him in. He's always (laughs) making. He always makes me cry. So anyway, I couldn't have been plainer. That would be the absolute worst thing that would be possible. We got an email from Gavin Colotti in Birmingham. Not Gavin Colotti. And yes, yes, (laughs) Gavin Colotti, the real one. Gavin Colotti. And he says. uh, what about impersonating the lovely Fern Cotton on Nevermind the Buscocks, who last appeared on the show when Stephen was on? This is what I'm saying. This is exactly the thing we don't want <laughs> no. to be doing. And the bloke was like, when they said don't, they meant do. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to get in touch. Yeah. And, and also says, and what do you think of the new Star Wars film? Yeah. <laughs> I think you, sh- you shouldn't have a computer, is what I think about that. <laughs> I know nothing about it whatsoever. Yeah. Anyway, the improvisers are touring at the moment. I, yeah. Oh, I've got the dates now. We're in um, Chelmsford on Thursday. We were in Reading last night with Phil Jubilus. Phil's joining us for a lot of the gigs. Yeah, don't plug last night. What's the matter with you? <laughs> well, I was just Amateur professional, he's plugging last oh, night's right. gig. See, Feels see. very good. Just because Doctor Who's on at the moment, you think we can all I, do, do it? Do you think I'll make a good Doctor Who? Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's what it needs, a bit of that. <laughs> You're going to make me cry. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, you know, you know. I don't know much about showbiz, but I know I love you. The one thing you do not plug is last night's gig. Okay. You're only as good as your next one. You do if you're a Time Lord. <laughs> I just did that. <laughs> You've done that. Which is a Time Lord joke, I suppose. Exactly. Oh, keep up, keep up. Just... Well, Don Estelle, he was good. Anyway. Um, yeah, we, we're in um, we're Chelmsford, which is, uh, when's that, Thursday? Yeah. And then Brighton on Friday. On Friday. Mm. And if you're interested, it's called The Improvisers, because it's an improvisation No, I, I'm show. not interested, but I assume you're talking to other people. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Yeah. There's, a, there's a crowd of people behind you. But there's four bit. sort of mainstays. There's uh, Mr. Yeah. Alcohol, Mr. F- yeah. <laughs> Mr. Frost, myself, uh, Mr. France, and Mr. Sweeney. Right. In his fine wheelchair chariot, and uh, and then there's. Uh, oh, can I just stop you there? Because <laughs> I, I didn't know no, what you meant. That was for Charlie Chester. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, what? I'm Is trying he... to sell these wheelchairs. Is <laughs> right? oh, I see. You've got to ship them somewhere. Yeah, that's the, they're the main guys, and then uh, we get. I thought I'm on the radio. <laughs> I've got a chance. <laughs> I'll slip in. And we ask good people like yourself, well, like, like Mark. Steele and Mark Lamar, mm-hmm. but uh, I'm, I'm, you don't want to do it, do you? You don't want to do improvisation, do you? Mm-hmm. No, Phil, Phil, Phil's really It's not that favorite. I don't want to do it, I just don't want to do it with you. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> it's understandable. I've done, we have done gigs together. but uh, And also, we've got Mike McShane coming over next week. Right. And, you know, he used to be on Whose Line Is Anyway. What, and it's now like a big like a film, big film star. And no, stuff. he's just big. Oh, he's yeah. lost a lot of weight, yeah. He's, <laughs> yeah. he's, he's, he's a big stomach, he's, yeah, like, he's a small film star. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's coming over next week, yeah. But if you want to find out the uh, dates of the tour, read the piece of paper I just gave you. And also... <laughs> I don't want to find that. <laughs> like I said, I'm not at all interested. www.theimprovisers.com We had 20 com. minutes to fill. We couldn't have all of Jazz and Dave. www.theimprovisers.com Dot com, dot com. Name but, that tune. Don't, <laughs> right, you know earlier on when I said... Right, whatever we do, we must not suggest things, and people are emailing in saying, yeah. do this. Yeah. When you say dot .com, dot .com, yeah. dot .com, do you not think that's going to confuse us? <laughs> I think it probably will. Steve is a very big uh, Ramones fan, and yes. he's chosen this track yes. as his first choice today. <laughs> <laughs> this is Cena is a punk rocker. <laughs> that was uh, the Ramones, of course, with, um, well, one of their songs, which they put the lyrics Cena is a punk rocker to, but it could have been anything. No, but it couldn't be anything. Everyone means something different. That one is about space travel, but... Uh, the Brockwell Tavern, 1974. You know Brockwell Tavern, Hearn Hill? Yeah. Thrown out for playing that, Mark, this on the going, jukebox. The landlord came over and said, he said, <laughs> he said, if you play you that again, I'll throw you out. out. So I played it again. And he threw me out. Again? That, well, that record have was, on the jukebox? That record wasn't even out in 1974. That record wasn't even out in 74. That's a completely <laughs> fallacious like story. It was 77 or something, wasn't it? Six. Oh, made, friends, you, you say you're friends, <laughs> and yet you turn on me so my stories look rubbish. You use an old phrase. You've, you've, you've made a right Stephen Frost of yourself. <laughs> we, I, I suspect a lot of people listening have been thinking, you know, it's a bit quiet this morning. There probably aren't enough voices. And so someone else, who we all know, uh, is, is on the phone just to add to the... <laughs> uh, to the mayor? Yeah, so, uh, Paul, Paul Martin's on. Uh, uh, it was hi, him. I'm, I'm in the middle of the Atlantic. <laughs> I'm, in a, I'm in a boat. Um, I was listening to Is Radio 2 and I thought, what are the charges that Steve Frost professional enough to turn his mobile off when he's uh, on there? Yeah, but you, who, who <laughs> phoned me? His number. Yeah, but if you, you hadn't phoned me, it wouldn't have gone off. I heard his mobile phone. <laughs> if, if you hadn't phoned me, it wouldn't have gone off. Yeah, blame him. <laughs> it's entirely his fault. Uh, for being totally unprofessional. Show business full of tricks like that. Look at Charlie Chester. Yes, yeah, he was. Yes, you're right. I apologise, Paul. Thank you for correcting me again yeah, in front right. of yeah, my. You know what? It just made me really ashamed. Did you finish a game of snooker after? I'd love to. Wait, I'll see you after a couple of pints of game of snooker. Would be lovely. Okay, see you later. Thanks so, cheers, mate. If you'd left your phone on, you could have had that conversation. Yeah, you, well, you could have, If I'd answered the phone, we'd have <laughs> had that conversation <laughs> like a time lord. Cheerio. Cheers, <laughs> Prince Sheila. Bye. Ta-da. I'm not expecting that today. You know what's really made me really unhappy? I just realised my phone's been on the entire. <laughs> <laughs> got nothing. You'll get called. You'll get called from Charlie nothing. Chester. Paul hasn't got my number. Uh, yeah. Why don't you use it? The undertones. 1976. This didn't used to happen in the old Radio <laughs> 2, did it? Back in the 60s. Well, with Charlie Chester. <laughs> <laughs> well, he wasn't just it, was he? He was not yeah. no, just day long. The Chester Empire. Seven yeah. years of yeah. not waiting for someone else to come in and relieve me. <laughs> anyway, Mark, we're doing now. Oh, you... I know. I'm trying to. Yeah, I'm trying to ask you about it. And all if I'm you like is... whose line is it anyway? This is better because it's live. Yeah, right. and uh, so it goes on longer. So the bits they cut out that didn't really work, people like, get to see oh, them. Oh, so <laughs> quick, aren't you? <laughs> it's, it's that streak of cynicism. Is why streak? Like, <laughs> streak, that big yellow streak of cynicism <laughs> all the way down your front. <laughs> That uh, <laughs> held you back. Yeah, no, it's like that, but better, because there's uh, more of us and, uh, you know, we can be a bit fruitier than the TV show. But, but you, d- you do get to see a stew sometimes. I mean, I mean, sometimes you get an idea and you can't think of anything. You, you, so you're getting a stew. You're you get, you know, I, I don't think what you said. That was all right. You do cookery halfway through, you know, for the, for the ladies. <laughs> 
<laughs> Which one in Edinburgh? We've been doing. I think we do, we've been doing every show every, every day for about twenty-seven days, and you, 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 you know, coming up with new stuff every day for an hour. And uh, it was a, like we, that got a, we got a phone box. Uh, there was me, Colin Mockery, and Steve Steen. We, we sort of crammed ourselves into a phone box, and then we all just looked at each other and went, "You got anything? No, no I haven't got no, anything." No, no. <laughs> as long as you're honest. If only Paul Martin had run. <laughs> that timing, Andy, Paul. What's Andy, the matter with you? As, as, as John Gilgood said, never let them know. <laughs> Don't let them know the secrets. What's behind the curtain? I think when they all turn to the audience and say, we got nothing, the secret's out. <laughs> yeah, but you noticed there was four people in the show. One of them was missing from that story, and that was Steve Frost, who was leaning against the bar with a pint, and he was supposed to be on stage. I've probably done a fantastically funny five-minute tirade. <laughs> probably. You have probably uh, improvised something in the style of boredom. Yeah, exactly. Well, I, I'll, I'll, go doing and, it. I'll go and lean up against the bar, and I he was, was doing it perfectly. I was doing it. No, that, yeah. that was an impro. <laughs> that was method. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's not only, obviously, that the four core people you mentioned, because you, you said other people are coming yeah. along, including Paul, is that right? Yeah, Paul did, no, he's, he did the first one with us at Birmingham, at the Birmingham Hippodrome, which was fantastic. But we don't talk about that, because it's a gig in the past, and you don't talk about that. Right, we've got Josie, Josie, Josie Lawrence. Is this my phone? Your phone, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Josie Lawrence is coming up to Newcastle on the 16th of June. She'll which is a shame, because we're in Brighton. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I've travelled to avoid Josie Lawrence. <laughs> no, we... <laughs> Yeah, we've got, but Phil's in, in Brighton with us on uh, Friday, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and Mike um, McShane's in Dartford on the 14th. It's a shame because we're... Oh, no, I don't know. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't. <laughs> Would you like to join us, Mark Steele? In Dartford? No, well, no. <laughs> Too close to Swanley. For a game of snooker after. <laughs> <laughs> I did a show at Swanley, it was lovely. Yeah, it was yeah. one of my favourite ever gigs. I know, yeah, yeah. Um, but do you do lovely. improvisation? Well, no, obviously yeah. not. That's not quick enough. Anyway, Mark Lamar. <laughs> um, you see, it's a, it's, a, it's, it's a young man's game. <laughs> Snooker. The, the weird thing about watching that show, uh, was particularly when it was first on, and, and John, and on, John, John Session, yes. yes. The weird thing about watching that is, like, it shouldn't be on anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> Can I quote my favourite ever line from... Yeah. Uh, Go on then, 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 then. So Children's back, children's back. They're all waiting for some Raja to come to yeah, the camp. Yeah. And, uh, and they hit and the, the, the trumpeter, and uh, someone says, The Raja's here, and Donna Stell goes, He's very good on the trumpet, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> a golden moment. Of course. Uh, but the weird thing about watching it, particularly in the early series, which a lot of people saw was, you know, John Sessions and Paul Merton's show, and everyone would watch it and think, God, those people, they just seem so smart. And then you meet them, nothing. No. <laughs> As opposed to us, you know we're not smart from kickoff. No, that's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, are we, have we got the same headphones on? Was that the proof that you weren't smart, <laughs> not understanding? Oh, yeah. As I pointed at you. Oh, don't the fists the will be fucked. <laughs> Stop it! That's, well, just that's the sort of thing you can pay to see if like you want. That. You just sort of wander on and just go, I'll just say the first thing oh. that comes to me. Oh, we'll call it improvisation, and then people will you, think... In a together. nutshell, <laughs> completely wrong. Steve Frost just saying the first thing that comes into his head. He planned this whole Charlie Chester tirade about two years you ago. He joking. even told me about it. He said, bone oh. up on Charlie Chester, I've got oh. some stuff for the future. Oh, for a muse of fire. Uh, actually, I was trying to write down the phrase, bone up on Charlie Chester. <laughs> that's what I for. Um, the, Mark, I brought in a record for you today, because I know what a big fan of the Alabama 3 you are. And, oh, oh, so am I. And uh, and for you, Steve, as well. Yes, thank and, you. Um, Andy, do you like them? I do. And they'll be Woke at Glastonbury as well. Yeah. They, come, they come to our campfire at Glastonbury, don't yeah. they? Yeah, no, no, good fellas. Yeah. Uh, uh, but Mark's also a big fan of Johnny Cash, and they've done a song called Johnny Cash, My and I thought, Johnny you know, well, too. Yeah. Two Seriously, birds, one star. Album's out just uh, two days ago. The Alabama Three with Johnny Cash from uh, their next album, because it's not out yet, uh, called Outlaw, which is out on the 6th of June. Here's my favourite sentence I've heard of recent, was my mate who uh, comes from a family in Suffolk. His family's in Suffolk and his... How come you shut up when he's talking? <laughs> uh, Do you mind? Sorry. Mr uh, Steele is trying to <laughs> tell the story. <laughs> So I'm soliloquising. I've not got a chance. Carry on, carry on, Mark. So his mum's rang and said, uh, uh, here, do you see that our village was in the papers this week? Our village, we were in the papers. He said, no, what? He said, you didn't see it, it was in the papers. A mention of our village. He said, no, I didn't see it. She says, oh, well, it turns out, right, that they've done this survey. It turns out our village is the most inbred village in the whole of Britain. <laughs> <laughs> but really proud. <laughs> That's a funny story, <laughs> Mr. Steele. That is a funny story. Okay, okay. Love, that was to our son, was it? Yeah. All right. <laughs> there's, there's a load of avenues we can explore on that one. Just, just a, a point of order as a comedian for 30 years. Um, if you're talking about Who's Suffolk, this speaking? <laughs> the, the, do, do, the nation wonders. <laughs> if you do talk about a story in Suffolk, don't do a Devon accent. It doesn't work well. You see, uh, professional Ooh. amateur. That, thank that, you, thank you. that is impro. That's but no, but if professional I amateur. I must remember to take all my comedy advice off a man who comes on the radio and within four seconds his mobile phone goes. <laughs> Ask, uh, yeah, but without that, we wouldn't have had the extra guest. 
<laughs> it's not often we get true talent on this show. It's the last 20 minutes have proven. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, on the show, we do all sorts, sorts of things. You might see stuff. I'm, I'm preempting your questions here, Mark. Um, <laughs> good. 3 0. That was a good question. See, <laughs> um, <laughs> Paris. Yeah, good. Rhubarb. But uh, it's, if you've seen who's. Is he going to do this fun cotton impersonation or not? <laughs> all right. Hello. There you go. <laughs> I liked her. We got on very well. I like. Yeah, she's yeah. the most delightful person she's on very, television. Very yeah, thank God she was there because you were in a right mood that night. Yeah. Anyway, in, in I didn't show... know you'd been booked. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't be offside on the bus. <laughs> I, like, I like the way I was in the right mood that night. <laughs> <laughs> Narrowing it down. <laughs> Um, yes, if you've seen Whose Line Is It Anyway, it's like that, but we don't have the chance. Oh, stop living in the past, man. It hasn't been on for 15 years. And it's It's fun. really weird because it's still shown every, well, now, twice a day in, in America. We went over, we, so we went over in January to do New York, and it we, we just... Stopped on the street. Yeah. yeah. Jaywalking. <laughs> Spit the chewing gum out. We got us. It was endless. Because well, like, last time I saw you, you were talking about going over there. What, how did it work Superb. Out? <laughs> it was only a little theatre, 100 seater, and we got, it, we got in there, and it was just packed with bar staff and waiters of the places we've been to the day All the bars before. that we went to, yeah. <laughs> we very good Sold party. out, then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, press Madison review. Square Garden press review. full up. <laughs> press reviews, marvellous. Word of mouth killed it off. Yeah. <laughs> we got because <laughs> the word came out of your mouth, unfortunately. No, it, it worked very well in the, in the states, so we're yeah. going back over again. We got a picture up in the Carnegie Deli, you know the, oh, the yeah, way Danny Rose. That's a we, <laughs> we were sat in there, and someone sort of went, "Oh, great show last night!" And the guy who owns it just went, "Are you guys in show business?" <laughs> <laughs> you see, that wasn't a Devon accent. Story works. You see, Matt. <laughs> I think that would work better in a Suffolk accent. <laughs> All right, let's do yeah, it in the style okay, of a okay, Suffolk okay, inbred okay, person yeah, from a village. A Suffolk vicar with one leg. <laughs> he can't do it on demand, did you know? Yeah. He's just a giggler. Are you He's guys? just a paid for giggler. The rest of you do your rubbish stuff in the pie box. And he stands on the side giggling. Did you call him a paid for giggler? To make it look funny. Did you call him a paid for giggler? Yes. It just buys me time, Mark. That is a real ball of comedy, isn't it? Whenever you see someone laughing at their own joke, they're thinking. They're thinking, yeah. one, I'm such yeah. a sham. Yeah. Yeah. Two, yeah. punch my head. Was I? <laughs> yeah. Well, at least on, uh, on uh, the improviser show, we don't have auto cue, do we? No. 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 <gasps> oh. <laughs> Hold on. Oh. Can, if you want to bring up that last episode of Bus Cause You're On, you didn't say a word. Uh, because? Because you were reading my auto cue. <laughs> <laughs> thinking I don't get that. <laughs> <laughs> Word, structure, grammar. Anyway, next week on the show, do you uh, I don't care. On the, but, uh, on the picket lines outside Television Centre. <laughs> what do we want? Anyway, oh, I can't quite read could it. Could the phrase anyway next week on the show mean anything to anyone? Yes, it means I've got some custard it and means, I'd like to pour it, it on my got, nose. Wrap up, we're right at the end of the show. Wrap up? Is it Christmas? Establish some authority, man. Come on. It's 32 yeah, degrees. Shut yeah. up! Is that's that more like it. That's better. Yes. We want boundaries. We respect comedy. Be funny, we'll shut up. Here's the boundary. It's six seconds to one o'clock, which is the time we have to finish the show. Okay. Tori Amos. So <laughs> next week on the show, Tori <laughs> Amos, oh, 88 to 91 FM. Hey, hey, not, in, not into <laughs> the news. Not into the news.